to let poverty continue is a social and an economic and an opportunity cost. The Joseph Rowntree Foundation, even before the crisis, was saying that child poverty in the UK cost our economy £25 billion pounds a year in terms of additional social care, health care, kids not able to reach their academic potential, all of those problems linked as well with poor housing, that child poverty is a huge cost. So if you want to save money in the economy, investing more in tackling child poverty is a very good way of reducing your overall social security expenditure. And indeed, at the EU level, one of the things that we're doing, this is, you wouldn't know it, but European Year of Anti-Poverty, was a conference the other week on child poverty, where it was being made very, very clear that countries that invested more in social security, in welfare benefits, had a better chance of tackling child poverty, and that one of the best ways to tackle child poverty was through universal child benefits. So that what this government is doing, as Bob was saying, is not just softening up even further to the idea of cutting social security, cutting welfare benefits, cutting the welfare state. It's also not going to be working in terms of child poverty because there are assumptions in these issues about who controls the money in a household, as well as the really useless maths that was somehow or another saying that if you are a single household with a 40,000 pound earner, 44,000 earner, somehow you, know, you can afford things more than a household with two earners with an income of 87,000. I don't understand the maths on that, and this is the guy in charge of our economy at the moment. We know that social transfers are important in the reduction of poverty. So we know as well that one of the best ways forward in our society to actually reduce the costs is to put people on an adequate income that raises them out of poverty, that lets them live in dignity, that gives them a degree of choice in their lives. And this is affordable. It's affordable because it costs us so much more if we're not investing in that way. Now, I can understand David Cameron wanting to take out, you know, with it, the equation, the estimated 1.5 billion in welfare, f in benefit fraud that he thinks there is. But I would wish that he was as keen as tackling the very small c conservative, not his party's estimate, of 30 billion lost in tax evasion which is also fraud. But he's not looking at that, he's looking at benefits. As if somehow or another it is the problem. It is, you know, people on benefits who are the problem, not the economic system that leaves people in poverty.